Let's have a quick introduction to Reason Sequencer. Let's hit F7. That gives us a large view of the sequencer. This is where we do all our recording and editing. Over here in the Arrange area is where we use our audio and MIDI clips to construct a song. Each MIDI track can have multiple lanes as we can see here, and audio tracks can have some audio on them, but you can also see with these squiggly lines some track automation as well. Over here on the left, we have our track list. And we have things like mute, solo, and record enable. Now don't worry about this other stuff. We're going to explain what these things do in other tutorials. Down here at the bottom, we have an overview which gives us a bird's eye view of the song. And over here on the right, if we're sharing our screen, with the sequencer and the rack, we can scroll through our arrangement. Up here at the top, we have our tools. We have our select tool for making selections, our pencil tool for drawing clips, notes, and automation, the erase tool for deleting those things, and the razor tool for cutting clips, the mute tool for muting clips. If we want to go in for a closer look on things, we have the magnify tool and the hand tool for scrolling. This concludes our brief overview of the sequencer. We'll be coming back here time and again over the course of these tutorials, and specifically we'll go in-depth in our videos and recording and editing MIDI.